great king is looking back. Behind him, a man who would be king is looking ahead. Yes, Kurt Browning is again on the edge, the top-ranked skater in the world. Elvis Stoiko is second, and tonight he looks out for number one. United, they skate. Isabel Brasseur and Lloyd Eisler, the defending pairs champions of Canada. But this year they have a different look, a different feel. Above all, Lloyd is healthy, and now he and Isabel begin another journey that eventually leads to the Winter Olympic Games. Royal Bank Canadian Figure Skating Championship. Good evening and welcome. I'm Rod Black along with you for what should be an incredible ride this weekend on CTV. The last time CTV Sports was in this building was back during the Canada Cup Hockey Tournament and before that, the much celebrated Ben Johnson returned to track and field and it's almost hard to believe that the anticipation and the excitement of those two events could be equaled or bettered by what's going to happen in Cops Coliseum this weekend. Let's run down what you're going to be seeing on CTV beginning tonight with the men's technical program. That will be followed by the pairs free skate. Isabel Brasseur and Lloyd Eisler are the defending champions and the leaders after the technical program. Tomorrow afternoon, Jackie Peter, Mark Janishak defend their ice dance championship. Then tomorrow night, prime time, the battle of the blades continues with the men's free skate. And then we wrap up a wonderful weekend on CTV Sunday afternoon with the women's free skate where three former champions are in the field. But let's get right to it. The most anticipated showdown in skating since the Battle of the Bryans. This time, however, these are two Canadian gunslingers named Kurt and Elvis. Stoiko has been skating in the shadows of Browning over the last couple of years. But Elvis Stoiko is now ranked number two in the world. Unprecedented in skating history. Canadian men won two. Well, I have to keep it in perspective. There's been a lot of media hype putting Kurt and myself together and making the Battle of the Goliaths and all this stuff. It's a lot of fun, but i got to keep it in perspective and tell myself that it's only another step to, to uh, a higher competition next door. There's a lot, there's, my future is still ahead, and I have a lot of things that I want to do. So if I, if I don't win or I come in third or whatever, it doesn't make a difference. It's not the end of the world, and no people know that I'm not a machine. Uh, I'm human and, and I do make mistakes. If anyone knows about the fickle finger of fate, it is Mr. Kurt Browning. Last year was such a year of ups and downs for Kurt, of course, the slip and fall in Albertville, but then he bounced back a month later in Oakland at the World Championships to win the silver medal, and right behind him was Elvis Stoiko winning the bronze. Of course, Kurt was skating through an untimely back injury last year that left him less than his best, but now his back is healthy, he says. He's ready for the challenge, ready to face his rival and his friend, Elvis Stoiko. Um, it's never really been tested under these circumstances. I mean, he's um, he's come up through the ranks. We, he had a great year last year, skated great every time he stepped on the ice. So he came up quite quickly the same way I did. And um, we haven't had a chance to, to be together as this new rivalry has been built for us by the media, but I can't foresee a change. I mean, um, Elvis is a great person. Um, the, the Elvis you see on the motorbike and riding around, I mean, that's him. That's, that's not blown up or anything. And he's a good kid and a, and a good friend and a great teammate, too. So, um, you know, after Canadians is over, you know, I'm pretty sure that him and I will bond together and basically try to work together to blow everyone out of the way. It is Kurt versus Elvis, as they say in the fight game. Gentlemen, to your corners, let's get ready for round one. Let's go downstairs now to Debbie Wilkes, and she will ring the bell for the battle of Kurt versus Elvis. Three-time world champion Kurt Browning is making a bid to win back the Canadian senior men's title, and he says he'll do it with do-or-die skating and two programs with music, he says, that even his mother will love. 
He's one of the skaters who has coined the term the Terminator to describe Elvis Stoiko, and Elvis sure is some machine, Kurt says. Elvis kind of agrees. He refers to himself more as a car, though. He says, some days I'm a jalopy, some days I'm a Ferrari. Fine-tuning comes this weekend. I can't help but think back to a couple of years ago in Sudbury when Elvis first appeared on the senior men's scene, and in fact, so far outskated Kurt Browning that many people thought he should have won the event then. Elvis was glad he didn't. He came off the ice and he thought, what have I done? He wasn't yet ready to take on the responsibilities of the championship crown. Here we are three days later, three years later, in fact, and certain things have changed. I asked him how he was going to do it. He said, with good skating, but who can predict? I was the same guy who predicted the Bills would win the Super Bowl. So who will it be, the showman or the Terminator? Well, let's hope that the Terminator has better luck this weekend skating than he did with his prediction. Joining us is always uh, skating expert Johnny Esau, who has been covering this sport longer than most of these kids have been around, Johnny. Well, this is an outstanding event. Hamilton is the hottest skating area in the world, and the crowd seem to vindicate that. We're seeing the best skating we've ever had. It's a festival now, not just a competition. The uh, Hall of Fame, they, all the gold medal winners from the past in Canada are here. All the champions and all the presidents of the Figure Skating Association going back to 1953. So the Figure Skating Association providing the best skating strength we've ever had has turned it into a competition we'll never forget. In front of unbelievable crowds tonight and through the weekend. Strap yourselves in, folks. You've got the best ticket in the house. Get cozy for the whole weekend, in fact, because up next we begin the weekend with the men's technical program. We'll have Alvis. We'll have Kurt. We'll have the rest of the contenders. The showdown in Hamilton begins in a moment. Every year at the Canadians, there is a name that just pops out of somewhere. Maybe a dark horse. Who knows? Second recently at the Atlantic Divisional, this is Jean-Francois Hébert from Warwick, Quebec. He has all the tricks, Rob, all the triples, including the triple axel. He has warmed it up and will be attempting it as part of the combination. First triple, triple loop. So often we've talked about getting that first jump. Everybody has a different game plan, a different style. to say his first trip 
to the senior nationals is a memorable one for Jean-Francois Hebert. That was the way I thought, too. Incredible performance, starting with the combination. The triple axle, high. Look at how fast it rotates, nice and tidy on the landing, and the required double tilt. The spins, if there was a weakness, it would be the spins. They were slower, not as sure, not as confident. The marks for 20-year-old Joe Francois Bear. Look at those. Hey, he's in first place. Well, he's been called everything from a jumping demon to a machine to the Terminator. been a runner-up at the Canadian Championship the last three years. Will this be the year of Elvis Stoika? Watch the change in this kind of performance. A slow beginning. He just fills the building. Lucy Kessler, as choreographer, says she thinks of the movie Honey, I Blew Up the Kids when <laughs> she talks about him. She reaches up into the audience and pulls you right down. to the triple axle. The world bronze medalist, technically ranked number two in the world, Elvis Stoiko, a standing ovation in Hamilton. Yes, he does. And but for a stumble, Elvis was right on tonight. Collect 
collecting is some of the rewards. This ice surface is littered right now with flowers. One tough beginning. The combination was the problem. A fabulous entry. The concentration showing up. He goes into the triple axel. The free foot never pulled back to get him successfully into the second jump. His most improved area, however, are the spins. He is doing some incredible stuff. This one, my favorite, a flying camel out of a back of radiance. They continued fast in beautiful position. It was amazing how he was able to hang on and still not hit the ice. It's, I think that's one of the incredible things about his evolution, if we can call it that. He is hanging on to the programs and still performing well. Marks for registration. Marks for required elements. And for presentation, you saw the element marks. Look at the presentation marks. A couple of years ago, he never would have gotten that. Elvis Stoiko says hello to Canada. And currently, he is the leader after his technical program. Guess who's next? Yes, on the ice to center ice. He missed last year's Canadians. And up and down here for Kurt Browning. But Kurt is back. And apparently with a healthy back. Former at that. Now, is that spooky how both those combinations are exactly the same point on the ice and both with tiny faults, the landing of the triple axles turning before going up into the double toe? Kurt 
recently had a sacroiliac problem. He called it a pain in the butt. <laughs> he fell on his backside in practice. He thought it might affect him. Maybe it did in the combo early, but it showed no ill signs throughout the rest of the program. Both Elvis and Kirk in the combination were practicing earlier today doing triple axel, triple toe. Got triple axel went up beautifully. Just a bad lean on the body, continuing to the double toe. And finally, the double axel at the end of the program, a simple jump for Kurt, but very often a real problem for him. Simply because it's all the Well, the flower of Scott and Hamilton did a very brisk business today. Here are the marks for the required elements upcoming. This is going to be very close, Deb. 5.4 the low mark. There's a 5.3 to 5.7. Now, the marks for presentation will be better. They always are for Kurt Browning. And there is Hamilton's Cops Coliseum has just witnessed what a showdown, and it will continue tomorrow night, the men's free skate, and we are expecting another battle between Kurt Browning and Elvis Stoiko. Kurt Browning, of course, moved uh, cities, changed cities in the offseason. In the last couple of months, he moved to Toronto. He changed coaches, uh, leaving Michael Uranic behind and uh, coming together with Louis Stong, and now he is the leader. Kurt Browning on top, Elvis Stoiko is second, Jean-Francois Hebert is third. Here's Debbie Wilkes and our leader. Kurt, how do you like the new program? This, well, this program is, is, a, is a lot like my exhibition numbers, are a lot of fun. A real chance to try and get something through to the people and not just worry about uh, the elements of the program. Uh, get the first two jumps with, done, and then party. That's what it's all about. What happened in the triple axel? Oh, darn. I, I don't know. I, I jumped. I was thinking, calm, calm, calm. I mean, the people here are great. Uh, it's so good for skating, it's great for Hamilton, and, but it's not so good for concentration. <laughs> and I was just so hyper that I think I was just, you know, I couldn't contain it. Best I, of luck. I felt my feet hit each other in the air and I got a little cautious. Well, best, of, well. <laughs> best of luck tomorrow. Thanks, bye. I'm hyper, I can't stop talking. <laughs>